I'm tired of being broke. You know, like I'm, I, I don't know. Like I think, I think that's it. Like, bro, they say like you don't actually make a change until you're until you're fucking ready. Like that's the only the only time you make a change is when like you're fucking sick of what you're dealing with right now. Being broke sucks. Living paycheck to paycheck is hard. Not knowing when the next month rent is coming from, that's the worst. We've all been there. It's easy to become overwhelmed when you're struggling to become financially stable and not to talk about the overwhelming anxiety with going broke again. So if you're watching this video right now and you're broke and struggling financially, then this is the video for you to watch because I will sharing 12 principles to become rich and never go broke ever again. And by the end of this video, I will be sharing the 50, 30, 20 rule to never go broke again. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications to get updated when I post so you never miss out on my videos. And let's jump right into today's video. I'm going to start by sharing the three reasons why you keep struggling financially. The three blocks that is stopping you from becoming rich no matter how hard you work, which are lack of financial literacy, a scarcity mindset, and lack of change. To change your financial status and become rich, Take note of the following 12 principles in this video, and most importantly, apply them. 1. Accept where you're at. So much struggling with finances happens not because you can't pay your bills, but because you are in denial of your current situation. You are running from your reality. Everything becomes easier once you let go and say, this is where I am at right now. This is how much I have to my name. It might not be where I want to be, but it is a temporary situation, and I can handle it. Being honest with yourself about your financial status leaves you with so many solution maps on the next right decision to take to becoming rich. If you don't accept your reality, how will you become any better in areas like your financial life? Accept and acknowledge your current financial status. 2. Stop worrying. Worrying is compulsive, and anyone can worry about money regardless of how much they have. People who are struggling to make ends meet think they'll stop worrying when they have more money, but it never happens. Worry is nothing but a waste of time. Worry does nothing but drains you. You have to choose to cut off the worry habit before you have more money. When you catch yourself worrying, ask yourself, can I do anything about this right now? If the answer is no, then move on. This has been found to be the best way of combating financial anxiety. Which leads to my third principle three. Operate from an abundance mindset. Have you ever felt like there's not enough money to go around? That's scarcity mindset in action. It's the belief that there's a limited amount of resources in the world and that you have to fight tooth and nail to get your share. To become rich, shift your focus from scarcity to abundance. Instead of worrying about what you don't have, focus on what you do have and have a belief system that you can also be wealthy. 4. Become financially literate. This is the most guaranteed principle that will either keep you broke or rich. You have to read finance books, watch videos about money, learn how the rich makes their money, you have to invest in knowledge. I mentioned in one of my videos that you need knowledge to become successful. Knowledge is power. There are a lot of free resources on the internet. There is no excuse to not be financially literate. Find tons of finance books on Amazon and I've linked some in my description box. Invest in your education, go to school and get high grades. Invest in skills, courses, workshops, or certifications that will enhance your knowledge and gain you necessary skills to become rich. 5. Lack of change. To become rich, you have to change. You cannot become rich with the same lifestyle that has kept you poor all this time. So many people want to be rich, but they don't want to change. You have sacrificed certain habits to get rich. Let go of the fear of change. Every time you invite the fear of change, you are pushing yourself further away from what you want. To change your lifestyle, invite new hobbies into your life, recognize the habits you have to let go to become rich, and get to working on that. 6. Have multiple streams of income. Find ways to generate additional income outside of your regular job. This could involve starting a small business, freelancing, or investing in income-generating assets like stocks or real estate. If you're still in school, you can apply for work from home jobs. Go on sites like LinkedIn, Upwork, and so on. 
Passive income streams can also provide long-term financial stability. Having a single source of income creates a single point of failure, but having multiple streams of income removes the single point of failure, and you always have something to stand on. Having multiple income streams is one of the best ways to avoid the potential risk of losing all of your income, and the more income streams you have, the less risky you are. 7. Save and invest your money wisely. Develop a habit of saving a portion of your income regularly. Look for ways to make your money work for you by investing in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or other investment vehicles that align with your financial goals and risk tolerance. I have linked the Chipper Cash app I use to invest in dollars in my description box. It doesn't matter how much you've accumulated. You can start investing your money no matter how little it is. 8. Live below your means. Mastering a frugal lifestyle means developing a mindset focused on living a good life with less, and it's easier than you think. In fact, before rising to affluence, many wealthy individuals developed the habit of living below their means, gradually increase the gap between income and expenses. Always spend less than you make. Don't be pressurized to flaunt your asset on the internet and end up splurging lots of money on things that you don't even need. This isn't a challenge to probe who is more richer. Learn to distinguish between the things you need and the things you want, and then making small adjustments that drive big gains for your financial status. 9. Get a financial advisor. Once you've gotten to a point where you've amassed a decent amount of wealth, either liquid assets, cash or anything easily converted to cash, or fixed assets, property or anything not easily converted to cash, Get a financial advisor to help you stay on the right path. Consider seeking advice from a financial advisor to make informed investment decisions. 10. Surround yourself with successful and positive-minded people. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who are financially successful can inspire and motivate you to achieve your own financial goals. Seek out mentors or join communities where you can learn from others' experiences and gain valuable insights. 11. Put in the work. I want to hear shit from you talking about you being broke. If you're not working 60 hours minimum a week that you're getting paid for, get your ass out there. Go down there and work at McDonald's. I don't care about your pride. You can't be proud and broke at the same time. To become rich, you have to put in the work value. Nothing is free. Hard work differentiate the poor from the rich. Laziness will take you nowhere. Get to work. Everything you learned in this video, get to work and apply them. That's what brings the money. Get out of your head and get to work. 12. Take care of your health. The art of becoming rich also applies to your body, and taking excellent care of your physical health has a significant positive impact on your financial status as well. Investing in good health is not difficult. It means making regular visits to doctors and dentists and following health advice about any problems you encounter. Many medical issues can be helped or even prevented with basic lifestyle changes such as more exercise and a healthier diet. What is the 50-30-20 budget rule? The 50-30-20 budget rule, popularized by Senator Elizabeth Warren, is a guideline to achieve financial stability by dividing your income into three categories of spending. 50% for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings or investments. Incorporating this rule into your finances is the essential first step toward financial freedom. These 12 principles won't solve all your money problems, but they will help you develop the good habits that get you on the path to financial freedom. Remember, achieving financial stability takes time, effort, and discipline. Stay committed to your goals and make consistent progress. You've got this. Go on ahead and click the like button, turn on the bell notifications to get updated when I post the next video soon, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.